way before Muhammad was. Now I'm going to emphasize the church. Hmm? They are not a public service announcement. We rely on you. Have to understand. Prophecy. You wander into a church. Given by the spirit. And the church people. Derp Green. Full of sin. Then. Concerning Japan. Pan. Sinner who wandered into the. Who need to be ashamed. The church. Rightly. Sinner man. And learn the word. I speak. And the. The. No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those eighteen on whom the Tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, be respecting and honoring me. That is, be honoring me as thy maker, thy keeper, thy God. I say, be honoring me as the resource, the one who gives life unto thee. For I say, when you are indeed respecting and honoring me, then I say you are guided in life. And I say you are given the blessedness, the truth, the mercy, and the hope that I provide. Now I say this day you are living in times of gross transgression, violation of me, and I say that men will pay for the same. But I say if men will truly repent, then I say they are able to be guided in my way. For I say to be guided in my way is truly a great privilege and honor, and it's something that you should be respecting each day. For I say, because men have made light of my way, have mocked my way, have chosen their own way, I say, they have chosen the way of death and destruction. Now I say, this day in a wicked, a perverse, and evil, and adulterous generation, consider that it is me, the living God, who bestows upon me tender mercy. And I say, consider likewise that when you will come forth in that mercy, you are uplifted in me. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the blessedness, and the hope of who I am. And yes, you are brought forth, for I will bring me forth. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do delight when my people will trust me in every circumstance. For I say you are not meant to be looking to the arm of flesh, you are not meant to be relying on your own sufficiency, but I say you are meant to rely upon me. For I say when it is me, the living God, that you look to and trust in confidence, in faith, then I say you are renewed by me. But I say, when you are trusting in any other factor, the same will fail you time and again. Now I say, this day there are many in these times, they claim they love me, they claim they serve me. Yet I say, they do not keep their hearts with diligence before me. But I say, they are sloppy and the same, they are not precise, and they do not want to be made so. And I say, this because in all of their sloth, they find their reason for sin. For I say, they make excuse, they procrastinate, they do as they please, and they blame me. But I say, when you truly consider, how can I, the living God, be to blame for what it is that men do to themselves? For I say, that men bring to themselves devastation, ruination, and damnation of soul. Then I say, they think they are justified to lay the blame on me, it is not true. For I say, when men have chosen all manner of perversion, all manner of moral decay and corruption, then want to blame me, I say that they are the fools. For I say, when a man will choose to degrade himself, he is choosing the way of death. I say, this day do not choose death, but I say, choose life and be brought forth in me. And I say, be uplifted, renewed, and given the strength that I, the living God, alone can give. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give my strength, my truth, and my life to those who believe upon me. But I say to the ones who have gone according, who have chosen other gods, other lovers, no, they have chosen death. Now I say this day, do not go in the way of death, do not go in the way of destruction, but I say, come forth in life. And I say, be uplifted each day, strengthened, directed, and guided by me. And I say, be made glad that I don't have been God, I'm the one who will give you the privilege to continue in me. 
Try saying if it is me that you will be trusting, believing, and looking unto, then yes, you are guided in life. And I say you are given the hope, the strength, the mercy, and the truth of who I am. Now I say it is day that I the living God am giving the call throughout the earth for all men everywhere to repent. And I say when men will hear that call obey the same, then they are guided in me. And I say they are given mercy, they are given truth, and they are given forgiveness that can only be found through me. But I say when men are choosing to believe in lies, choosing to believe their own carnality, and the voice, voices of demons, yes, they pay for the same. Now I say this day that my wrath is mounted up against the sins that are found amongst humankind. And I say when that wrath is poured forth, then I say that men will cry and moan and scream under the agony of the saints. But I say for all of their frustration, if they do not repent, I say the wrath only increases upon them. For I say it is me, the living God, who is at war with the sinful, with the debauched, the defiled, the ones who have chosen another way. I say this day do not choose your own way, but I say be choosing my way, which is the way of life. And I say be thankful each day that you are guided, directed, and corrected by me. And I say be thankful each day that you are given the blessedness, the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. For I say when you are coming forth in the way that I do give, you are given newness of life. But I say when you go in any other way, you are going in the way of death and destruction. Now I say this day let it be me that you will look to and believe day after day. And let it be me that you will choose to serve, to follow, and obey. For I say, when you are indeed choosing the way of my life, my truth, and my mercy revealed, then you are guided forth by me. And I say, you are given the hope, the strength, the truth, and the mercy of who I am. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, do declare that I'm calling forth men and women to serve, to love, to obey me. And I say, when any will hear that call and obey, then they are guided in my way. But I say, when men will refuse my call of obedience unto me, and go off in their own willful ways, then I say, they absolutely are not following me. For I say, that a man may propose that what he does is so important, but I say, that if he's failing to obey me, there is no importance at all. For I say, in obedience unto me is bound my life. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to be under the surge of oppression and cruelty, darkness, and evil that is sweeping this earth. For I say it is sweeping because men have stopped standing in me. And I say because men have chosen to adulterate, to pervert, and twist my word in order to accommodate their sins, I say they have brought sorrow to themselves and others likewise. For I say that the truth of it is, when men have been opened in their eyes to see my way, then turn back to darkness, I say they are doubly damned. And I say when men have known the truth and turn aside to lies, I say they are found under wrath. And I say you are living in times when the nations that once knew me, served me, and obeyed my ways have turned to transgression. Not only transgression, but I say they've turned to idols and the violation of my way. And I say, while they think they are wise in their perversion of truth, I say they are proven to be fools. For I say they are under the invasion of cruelty, oppression, and darkness on every hand. I say this day be thankful for the truth and the light, the mercy and the hope that I, the living God, will give unto you as you continue in me. And I say be ever active, motivated to declare the call to repentance to any and all. For I say, when you will indeed be calling for men to repent, then I say they are given life in me. But I say that is only if they will hear the call and obey. I say this day it is one thing for a man to give verbal assent that yes, he's meant to repent, but not do the same. For I say there are many they will claim they will repent, yet I say they will stubbornly, proudly refuse the same. And I say they will go on in sin and darkness, they will go on in evil, bringing damnation to their souls. And I say while they think they are clever in avoiding what it is that I ordain, I say they are ultimate fools. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to keep company with fools, but I say that I call you to be made wise in me. 
And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted, guided, and directed in my way. And I say that I call you to know of a surety it is me you are meant to please. For I say that it is me, the living God, who is indeed the life source, the strength, the truth, and the mercy provided. Now I say this day, be glad that I give you the truth, the light, and the mercy day after day. And I say, be glad that I guide you forth, that you can indeed be strengthened by me. For I say, if you will be coming forth in that which I give you, then I say, you are strengthened, you are renewed, and you are refreshed in me. But I say, when any will choose stagnation and the dullness of the same, when they will desire to remain in the rut of their own making, I say, they have left off following me. Now I say this day that the ones who will remain as my disciples will continue and continue and continue to follow me. And I say that they will continue in the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide each and every day. And I say that they will be thankful that it is me that they can believe upon, trust and serve with all of their hearts. For I say they will know that it is me, the living God, alone who is able to give them newness of life. And I say that they will be partakers of that which I intend ever may glad to be serving me. Now I say this day there are many in these times they live in delusion and imagination and think they have already arrived. But I say they've arrived at nothing because I say they are not in obedience unto me. And even though they profess that it is me that they serve, it simply is not true. For I say they are serving the interest of promotion of self rather than serving me. Now I say, if a man will truly love me, he will abandon his own way, he will lose his life, and I say that he will willingly give himself over in service unto me. And I say that he will be thankful that I am the one who guides him forth. I say this day it is the time that I live in God and reaching out, I'm pouring forth and I'm calling for those who will obey me in the same. For I say that it is me who wants to bring a great resurgence through repentance and restoration of men unto my way. And I say when the vessels I call will honor and obey me, then I say it is possible the same is brought forth. But I say when the ones who are meant to troop up and obey will refuse my way, I say they drag down what it is that I ordain. Now I say this day that I don't have been God to intend that those who hear the call would obey the call and follow me. That is, not dragging the lip, not procrastinating, nor finding justifications for the flesh, but simply abandoning the old way of their own carnality, not paying heed to the moaning and groaning of the beast within or self that wants to remain on the throne, but rather coming forth in obedience unto me, despite the cost to themselves. For I say you are not meant to cater to the fool called self, you are not meant to bow to the beast, but I say you are meant to bow to me as the one true God you are meant to serve. And I say you are meant to come forth in obedience to my commands, ever thankful that you can indeed be guided by me, and given the truth and the hope, the mercy, the strength that I provide. I say this day be thankful to continue, and be thankful to be uplifted and brought forth, be thankful to be ever guided by me. And I say, be thankful that you do not need to be bound under the waves of wrath that I pour forth. Be thankful that you do not need to be subject to enemy forces, but rather you can be subject to me. For it is me, the living God, who is the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end. Now I say this day, be thankful that you are privileged to bend the knee, to bow down low and be serving me. And I say, be made glad for the privilege to repent, call others to repent likewise. What you're about to see is uh, some street preaching on a local campus at ASU. This is not in Saudi Arabia. This is actually on a college campus in America. And what you have are three banners that were raised up at ASU, home of the Sun Devils, and uh, these people are true to their name. They flared up and manifested like a good evil devil does, and uh, things happened. Uh, instantly, uh, they broke one of our cameras, uh, police were called in, uh, the chief of police was called in, the dean of students was called in. The crowd was so thick, they thought if they moved us into a different location, that would solve the problem. And of course, they acted like Muslims, because the banners that we had were two anti-Islam and one anti-homo banner, and that made the entire campus flare. 
At the end of the day, we only lasted about an hour and a half. One brother was arrested, one camera was broken, and a lot of angry Muslims. The chief of police actually said, the entire campus knows that you're here. They didn't even like it when uh, we, we kicked the Quran and ripped the Quran. You can burn an American flag and nobody says anything, uh, but uh, uh, you can't kick a Quran. Even the homos were upset because we were mistreating their holy book. I say, uh, work while it's still light. Okay. Night comes when no man can work. Okay. And so uh, I understand free speech. Okay. I understand.